In biology, a species is a group of organisms that share similar characteristics and are capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring. In the context of the ocean, a species refers to any type of organism that lives in or depends on the marine environment, such as fish, whales, sharks, dolphins, sea turtles, corals, mollusks, crustaceans, and many others. The ocean is home to an incredibly diverse array of species, many of which have yet to be discovered or fully understood. Do you know how many species live in the ocean today? What was this amount in the past and what will be in the future? In this video, we answer these questions. Estimating the total number of species in the ocean is a difficult task, as new species are constantly being discovered and many may still be unknown to science. However, scientists have made several attempts to estimate the total number of marine species based on available data. Since the beginning of the 20th century, scientists have discovered many new marine species, and our understanding of the diversity of life in the ocean has increased significantly. For example, the Census of Marine Life, a global effort to document marine biodiversity that took place between 2000 and 2010, documented over 1,200 new species and identified more than 5,000 new species in collections that had not been previously studied. One widely cited estimate comes from a study published in the journal, PLOS Biology, in 2011, which estimated that there were approximately 1 million species in the ocean. However, this estimate came with a large degree of uncertainty, and the actual number could be much higher or lower. More recently, a study published in the journal, Nature, in 2020 used a different method to estimate the total number of marine species. The study compiled data from a range of sources, including taxonomic databases, scientific papers, and expert opinions, and estimated that there are approximately 2.2 million marine species, with a range of uncertainty between 1.6 million and 2.4 million. It's worth noting that these estimates are just that, estimates, and the true number of marine species is likely to remain uncertain for some time. Nonetheless, they provide a starting point for understanding the incredible diversity of life in the ocean and the importance of protecting it. What do you think this amount would have been millions of years ago? It's difficult to estimate the exact number of species that lived in the ocean millions of years ago, as we have limited data about the past biodiversity of the oceans. However, we do know that the ocean has undergone significant changes over the past millennium, including the impacts of climate change, overfishing, and pollution, which have likely affected the number and distribution of species. One study published in the journal, Science Advances, in 2017 used a combination of fossil records and genetic data to estimate the number of marine species that existed during the late Quaternary period, which encompasses the past 2.6 million years. The study estimated that there were approximately 10 million marine species during this time period, with about 2.2 million still living today. It means that there were several times as many species in the oceans as there are today. While this estimate does not specifically address the number of marine species millions of years ago, it does provide some context for understanding the broader patterns of marine biodiversity over time. An important question that arises is how the number of ocean species will change by the end of this century. What do you think? Estimating the number of species that will live in the ocean in the future is difficult because it depends on many factors, including climate change and pollution. However, scientists have made projections about how these factors may affect marine biodiversity. One study published in the journal, Science Advances, in 2015 used climate models to project how climate change could affect marine biodiversity in the future. The study estimated that, under a high greenhouse gas emissions scenario, 
ocean temperatures could rise by 3.5 degrees Celsius by 2100, leading to a decline in marine biodiversity of up to 17% compared to current levels. In other words, approximately one in five current species will disappear in the next 80 years. Consequently, species in the ocean are declining, and this is due to human actions, to our demands for more from our portion of the ocean. This is a sad story, 